Hi, I'm Matt Smith, and I'm here at Six String Ranch in Austin, Texas for Supro. I'm here with the brand new Supro Jet Airliner lap steel, and we're going to teach you guitar players how to play lap steel today. The next thing that's really important with a steel is that you can play pairs of strings, either adjacent pairs or every other string. For example, here's the first and third, second and fourth, the third and fifth, and the fourth and sixth. Now, one of the beautiful things with the steel is that you can actually slide back a whole step chromatically like this. So I'm playing the C chord again, the fifth fret, and then going to slide back to the fourth fret and then the third like this. And now here's the second and third strings. And then third and fourth strings. Now I can play L shapes with those too. Now, C here would be my one chord in the key of C. My four chord would be five frets up, or up here at the tenth fret, which would be F. And then my five chord, which would be G, up here at the twelfth fret, or open. So if I'm going to play a one, four, five, which would be a C to an F chord, it would be like this. I'm going to apply some of the licks we did before to that 1-4-5 progression. So that's how we deal with particular major chords and licks. Now, since the the steel guitar is tuned to two G major chords. How do we deal with minor chords? Basically, if you play the root, or if the bass player, for example, or the guitar player is playing a G minor chord, I just move the steel up three frets from the G. So up here, I have the G. Now if I play up three frets, it bring me to the third fret. If I push the slide forward and play the open G string on the sixth string, and then play the top three strings at the third fret, I get a G minor chord. What I'm actually doing is playing a B flat chord over the G, which gives me a G minor seventh. Listen. So anywhere I want to play, if I wanted to play a C minor, instead of playing at the fifth fret where I play the C chord, I move the top three strings, for example, up three frets to an E flat chord. Now, it's only going to sound like a minor chord if someone else is playing the C. That's how you deal with minor chords. If I want to play a major seventh chord, I play seven frets up from the root. So, for example, if I want to play a G major seventh, I'd actually play up here at the seventh fret, which is a D chord over the G, which gives me G, B, D, F sharp, A, which is a G major ninth. But that's how I deal with major seventh chords. Listen. Here's a C major, C, G major 7th, and then a C major, and there I just play the G chord over the C in order to give it that beautiful sound. That's how to deal with different kinds of chords. For dominant 7th chords, I simply raise the 1st and 2nd strings up 3 frets. And that'll give me just the third becomes the fifth, and the fifth becomes the flat seventh. So I have this. I'm going to play the open G string and just the, the third fret on the first and second strings. Now, building open string licks. If you're playing blues, 
you play the fifth, third, and open string on every string. For example, watch. Second string. Third string. Fourth string. Fifth string. Sixth string. Now watch how this sounds. That'll get you started on this amazing instrument.